What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and today we're going to be taking a look at the slow motion effect from J-Rock featuring Kendrick Lamar's WOW freestyle music video. Me and Rocko back like flipping mattresses. Me and Rocko back like knocking addresses. Cap on, cap on. Drum hole 30 no add on. Little man man not the one to go bad on. Big heat stand fold out when you lack on. Now there's a few cool things going on here, such as one person being in slow motion while the other person is rapping normally. And as well as that, it's not just a stationary camera, you also have the camera moving, which adds a entirely new degree of complication, which might make it confusing to wonder how the heck did they did this. So to begin, credit to all the people that worked on this video. If you do a little bit of a check in in the description and snooping on Instagram, you can find the director, Jack Beggert, and everyone that worked on this video. And if you take a look here, there's a, actually a clue that we can gain from looking at the credits. Motion control by at camera control. And when you head over to their page, camera control, they posted that they shot this on a Cobra slash Bolt XL, which is a robotic camera arm, which was actually something like this was used in the Humble video as well from Kendrick Lamar. And they also mention that it's a little camera control plus timer mapping magic. But heading back to the video, let's take a look at how we know it's not done in some ways and how we know it is done in some others. Now one, I've seen a theory that says, what if they're just pretending to move in slow-mo so they just shot it like normal and just had one person kind of pretend to be slow-mo while the other one raps. We can quickly debunk this method by just taking a look at uh, the way that they snap back into motion and also they're wearing some really awesome baggy clothes. And if you just take a look at how the jacket or the sweatpants on J-Rock move, you can't fake the gravity of those ripples and you can clearly tell when they snap it back into normal or fast motion, the way that his legs kick and move and snap back into place is just unrealistic for them to have been faking that with movement. So we know that there's some timer mapping magic going on and it's also been told by the camera company as we can read on Instagram. But there's another thing, how do we have two different frame rates, slow motion and regular speed going on at the same time within the same clip while the background seems to be stayed the same. Another visual clue that we can see directly in this video is that this is a layered composition involving some sort of masking. So you have both of the performances maybe shot separately and then stacked together because you'll notice how they each stay in their respective half left and right and although they get close sometimes they never really cross paths or interact while it's going on. So if you want to see why this is most likely the case if you ever just pay attention to J-Rock's left foot here and just kind of this floor area and the texture in between them you can see some feathering and masking going on. And if you pay attention to J-Rock's shoes and feet sometime, you can just kind of tell that these two pieces are stitched together because the shadow of Kendrick doesn't really cross. You could definitely see it right there. It doesn't really cross completely naturally. It still looks really good. And this floor is a perfect smooth brown canvas to mask somewhat easily. But you can see the feathering going on right around this line. And if you just pay attention to some of the floor textures, they're warping in, a, in slightly interesting ways. Maybe have three layers going on here, the background, Kendrick, and J-Rock, or maybe just two layers. One of their performance shots, maybe J-Rock or Kendrick, and then a layer on top with the masked other character. This is actually um, a degree harder and more complicated because the background is moving and changing perspective as well as they are changing perspective. So I think that rules out the fact that it's maybe just a 2D photo background that they're manipulating in post. I think we're really getting different angles and perspectives. And since we know that it's a robotic arm that shot this, these robotic arms can be set to a calculated path and be rigged up to make the same exact movement and time and speed. So my best guess is that they set this robot up to shoot the same exact path, and then they shot both rappers' performances separately. Now, there's actually a, another thing that 
you may not have realized or thought about that also adds another degree of complication to this is how are they lip syncing the track but still going in slow motion and fast forward while still remaining in sync with each other. They maybe have manipulated the audio track so that each rapper could rap it and then accounted for the fact that it would be in slow motion for a certain section, perhaps as long as the other person's line was, and then still filled back in. So they may have created custom um, tracks to play on set that would match up in time that they calculated beforehand. So it might be a lot more calculated than you think. Because if J-Rock or Kendrick's performance was shot in one take, then it doesn't really leave any room for the other person's lines to have been said. I could also kind of see how maybe they shot them on a green screen of sorts and shot the background separate. And there's actually three completely separate layers here. But I would lean towards saying that it was actually shot on location and masked together and just stitched as best as possible by using the same exact angle and movement. That's my best plausible guess. And there's also a few other examples and visual clues of some of these things in other parts of the video, like the fact that they're shooting in super slow motion uh, when you see the guy running right after and the lights are flickering. So one, we know they're used slow motion. We know there was a a robot arm involved. We know for sure that there's masking involved and so it's a multi-layered composition. And we can also kind of assume that there's had to been some consideration into the lip syncing and audio track. So my guess is all those things put together is how they're able to pull this shot off. But of course, I didn't work on this video. I had nothing to do with this video. Shout out to the director and all these people that worked on it and Kendrick and J-Rock for putting together another awesome visual. I always love the TDE visuals. But my goal in making these videos is just to maybe show you how myself, this is how I take a look at a video, take a look at an effect and try to rule out some theories or rule in some theories and kind of look at things with a visual investigative eye. So hopefully it's fun for you to do. You learn something in the process and you get to start thinking in this more behind the scenes way on how these cool videos get done. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it below, subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Drum hole 30, no add on. Little man, man, not the one to go bad on. Big keys stand fold out when you lack on. You ain't no man, you a mouse in a rat hole. I hold band hole stack, that's factual. Caught Big Ten on the island, bashful.